Hello everyone. Today, let's start this video with a simple imagination. Suppose you are having a favorite food in front of you. Now two things happen. First, watering of mouth and second, we, we determine that the food is salty or sweet. Now how this is possible? We are going to see this only here. Now we know that the nervous system is involved in the decision making process. Carrying of information to the brain is the second step. First, to carry the information, the information or the inf signal have to be generated. Now here is the point where the receptors come in forefront. The receptors are present in the sensory organs which helps us to generate the signals. Like gustatory receptor present in tongue and helps in detection of the taste while the olfactory lobes are present in the nose which detects the smell. Now let's have a look on the nerve cell which is the basic and functional unit of nervous system. They are approximately 1 meter long and there are 1 billion in the brain. There are trillions of nerve cells in the human body. Now let's have a look on the various parts of the nerve cells. It has dendrites, the cell body, the nucleus, the axon which has a myelin sheath covering and the nerve ending. Now these dendrites are responsible for acquiring the information and also for generating a chemical change which leads to an electrical impulse. This electric impulse is transferred from the dendrites to the cell body and along with axon it travels down to the nerve ending. At the end of the at the end or the nerve ending there is a transfer of electrical impulse and with the release of some chemicals. Now these chemicals are transferred to the different dendrites by a small gap between each nerve cell. This gap between the two neurons is also called as synapse. In a similar way these electrical impulses are transferred from one nerve ending to the dendrite of the next neuron. In this way we have seen the electrical impulse is transfer transferred from one, one neuron to the next neuron. This is a simple working of a one nerve cell. We have not seen the working of a nervous system. The working of a nervous system is a bit tedious because it includes the brain. The nervous tissues which are present in the nerves, nervous system are made up of various neurons which are responsible in collecting the information via electrical impulse and then transferring it to the brain. Suppose we are outside and it suddenly starts to rain. Now as soon as it rains, two of our receptors will start performing their job. The one is under our skin which will create a chemical carrying an information that the raindrops are touching our skin. And second is our eyes which will send an image of raindrops to our brain. Now these receptors are connected to the nervous tissue which will send the information to the brain. The brain will make a decision by analyzing it. The decision will be either finding a shelter to protect ourselves or to get wet. Now the decision the brain makes is only based on the previous experience. If in the past experience we have enjoyed the rains, we will get drenched. But if in the past experience we were ill because of getting wet, then we will find a shelter to protect ourselves. The brain only makes the decision which we have experienced in our past so that it can have a comparison to do. Another important point which we have to note is that there are two different types of neurons which carry the information. The first are the sensory neurons which transfers the information from the receptor to the brain. And the second are the motor neurons which carry the signals from the brain to the effector organs. These were the two neurons which are responsible for the transfer of signals from one part of the body to the another. So we have seen that brain is the mastermind for all the functions which happens in our body. But there are some actions which need a spontaneous reaction. We will be seeing these spontaneous reactions 
and how they occur in the next video.